Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a match I just went to called the AK Masters put on by Palmetto State Armory. But before we do, it's time to acknowledge today's sponsor. Hey, what's up guys? Nick here from the future to tell you that today's video is sponsored by Sightmark. And I know what you're saying, Nick, isn't Sightmark a cheap optic? Yes, but it's also affordable and it's also the optic our boy used to do the Lord's work, which I think is pretty cool. So go check out Sightmark, links in the description, and big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. One of the biggest supporters of this channel is Gray Shop. They supply most of the Russian kit you see me rocking at both the range and at Milsom West. So go to the website grayshop.ru, use code BLUEJ for 10% off some sick Russian kit. I'd also like to mention that Henry from Nine Hole Reviews has blessed this channel with a discount code to give you guys from Slate Black Industries. So if you use code BJO10, it'll give you 10% off sick M-Lock grips and accessories. Stand by. So the AK Masters, I don't know if you can tell by the name, is an AK-focused shooting competition put on by PSA. And I went to their very first AK Masters last year, and I liked it so much that I went again this year. And honestly, guys, you know, I'm not a comp uh, competitive shooter by any means. You know, I like to shoot, and I like to LARP and stuff like that. But the last time I went to a shooting competition of that type of uh, you know sort is last year's AK Masters. I know I went to like the tactical games and stuff between then, but I really haven't competed in a very long time. And it kind of showed in my results, you know, again, I'm not a competitive shooter, uh, but I came around middle of the pack in my division, which was traditional optics. So just using the PSA uh, AK-104 and 7.62 by 39. And, you know, I came around middle of the pack. So that kind of shows me that I'm not completely incompetent, but going out to these competitions really highlights what you can work on. That's why I really like to go to them. I plan to go to more shooting comps, you know, here in the future when my time kind of frees up. But, you know, it was a good time and it really showed me some of the different things I could work on and honestly running my kit there as well. Kind of show me like what my default mode of how I run my kit is and what pouches I default to to grab mags from. Because when you get under that shot timer, you know, your shortcomings are really, you know, amplified, you know, like how are you with your reloads? You know, how are you with working with your kit? So, you know, I like to run my kit at these, you know, shooting comps, you know, I'm not really there to like, you know, I don't, I didn't go into it thinking that I was going to come out on top as like the number one guy. So I went there, ran my kit and, um, you know, ran this setup right here, which, you know, I actually, <laughs> Now, I don't recommend doing this, but I recommend if you're trying to go to a shooting competition to actually win, running that setup in that way um, well beforehand. I literally set this up like, you know, the week prior and zero to quickly gave it a zero. And I didn't really clean it before going hand two because I literally shot my review video for this gun right before the competition. Had about 4,000 rounds on it, didn't clean it. And of course, the one time that I had a malfunction on it was at this match. I had a stuck casing and it was kind of actually cool to that, uh, cool about that stuck casing for me is it showed me what I kind of defaulted to when I was under the timer and how to clear that malfunction, which I did. And having to kind of regather myself to finish the stage, it kind of flustered me for a little bit. I cleared the malfunction fairly quickly, but after that I was like, you kind of go into these these little uh, or the stages and you kind of try to game it beforehand and then your plan kind of goes out the window because you're focused on trying to you know clear that malfunction and then try to memorize like hey what was my plan for this stage shooters ready yep. am i fuck
That was just like one example of one of the stages that kind of flubbed of many. Um, one of the main things I kind of took away there was knowing your zero before going to a comp. So I quickly gave this gun a zero with this optic. So this is the Holosun Ames, like a few days right before the competition, very quickly. And then, you know, on some of the stages where the targets were very close in, didn't matter so much, but there was a few stages where the targets were kind of further out, some steel targets. And I was missing, 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 and it took me a long time to actually like shift my fire and recognize where my hold was to actually make my hits. I did make my hits eventually, but um, one stage I actually timed out because like there was a moving target that was going back and forth and I just could not freaking hit that thing. Um, so knowing that, like knowing where your hold is, is very important before going to a competition. I would not recommend quickly giving a gun a zero and just sending it at a comp. Um, because it won't be a good time for you. Ready. Yep. Shooter is ready. Stand by. Clean. Overall, had a very good time. And if you're trying to up your game as a shooter, I highly recommend just going out there and competing. It doesn't have to be like a, you know, you could go to the tactical games or, you know, a USPSA match or two gun or three gun. It doesn't matter. I think it's something good to just throw there in your training. Um, you know, it's not the only thing I like to do, honestly. You know, some weekends I want to go play airsoft. Some weekends I don't consider myself like, a shooting uh, a competitive shooter by any means, but it's something I like to throw in there every once in a while just to kind of show me what I can work on. That's about it guys. That's just like my experience at the AK Masters and some of my lessons I kind of learned while I was out there. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram at Blue Jean Operator or go to my website, thebluejeanoperator.com to find some cool shirts and merch which helps support the channel. Also make sure to hit that notification bell just so you can keep up to date whenever I decide to post a new video. But that's all I got for you guys and I'll see you guys next time.